the game. So you're yeah, telling he, me you have he that contributes. Story. No, but he contributes in other ways. Nick Bosa is strictly a pass rusher. Like that's all he can do is pass rush. He's not a good run stopper. Demarcus Lawrence is one of the best run stoppers in the league. So he's bad at pass rushing because he doesn't get three sacks a game, though. He got three sacks against Evan Neal hey, hey, in hey, one quarter, hey. I think. So the, the Marcus Lawrence had three sacks last game. No, I said against Evan Neal. He yeah, had three sacks against you. And bro, we yeah, had last five game. turnovers. Yeah, my last game, I really mean like against the Giants. Oh no, I meant week. I meant week three. Week, okay, week okay. four. Okay, okay yeah, I do. I do remember. They have one good pass rush. Yeah, I do remember. I'm going crazy there. that. What? Bro, stop. What okay, the against, the, against a rookie tackle in his third game, or his second game. I think Evan Welcome, welcome, to, welcome to the league. Hey, yes, it's like an excuse to me. You know, he's basically <laughs> Calais Campbell, but to, a little shorter. Calais Campbell is old. So, uh, who's Calais Campbell where he's at? Bro, is Calais still on the Ravens? Yes, I think. I, I haven't been keeping up with the Ravens that much this season. Me either. I ain't kept up with nobody saying the Cowboys. Boy, stop acting like you ain't the Giants number one hater. You you keep up with us, bro. No, I don't. I pay more attention to Philly than the Giants. Bro, you think I give a fuck about y'all? <laughs> I don't give two shits about the Giants. <laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Up the Score. Today, I'm here with my co-host. Say what's up, y'all. What's up? All right. Um, in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about some breaking news with Baker just being released. We're going to recap week 13. We're going to have a would you rather. Wait to see who it's going to be about. And we're going to do our NFL pick And I just want to ask, how y'all boys been? Oh, great, yeah, bro. How about you? Yeah, I'm doing good myself. I just got up out of school and about to get straight to business, man. Hey. Life's great. Can't complain. W. W's in the chat, man. Hey, let's talk about Baker, bro. He got released by the, by the Panthers. Yeah, I'm tripping. He got released by the Panthers uh, just a couple hours ago, and I seen rumors of Matt Ryan also requesting to be released after last night's game. I don't know how true that is, but what do you think of the possibility of Baker going to the Colts and Matt Ryan going to the 49ers? Like, do you think that's a reality? Um, well, nah, I don't. I personally don't, but Baker going to the Colts is what I said should have happened to begin with. Yeah, we and- didn't talk about that. Because I just feel like Baker would have, even though he's not that great, he's not he's not a good quarterback anymore. I just felt like at the beginning of the season, that's where he should have gone. But um, I seen that report too. I don't know how true it is, but if I'm Matt Ryan, I'm not just trying to get released. I'm trying to retire because <laughs> that game was. He has been horrible. He's been bad all year. He got he got a lucky game against the Chiefs. But he's been bad all year. So if I'm doing anything, if I'm at Ryan, I'm trying to retire, not just go somewhere else. But he has the connection with Kyle Shanahan because you remember that one, like, great MVP season he had? Super Bowl, yeah, the Super, yeah. Super Bowl appearance year. Oh, yeah, yeah. And retire, bro. He's, he should go to the Niners. Yeah, and they, fire. Yeah, and they kind of yeah. desperate. They got It'll both, cost them. Both of their starting quarterbacks is out for the season, and they a contender. It hey. will cost if Matt hey, Ryan Matt does it, it will cost them. Matt Ryan is the Niners quarterback. If they played y'all last night, they would not have lost 54-19. They wouldn't have lost 54-19 if they still would have lost. Yeah, I mean, not most likely, but at least not 54-19. to They would have had a shot. To be fair, to be fair, to, to be fair to Matt Ryan, you know, it was close at the beginning. Towards the, but he, he just crumbled in the fourth quarter. Yeah. There's no way on God's green earth that we were supposed to score 33 points in the fourth quarter. There's no way. See, but I think when we get into that game, I I can I got some stuff to say about that game. But Matt Ryan, as I'm saying, I'm retiring after this season. He has to put he has to hang him up. But like y'all said, um, the Kyle Shanahan Matt Ryan connection it could come back and be good. But who knows? I I'm, I'm just saying, if I'm Matt Ryan, I'm leaving. I'm retiring because I have not played the best. Hey, so what teams do you think is possible for Baker to sign to, or do you think he's just going to stay in the free agency pool? The I, XFL. <laughs> I think he should go to the Patriots. Bro, the Patriots do not want Baker. That's my is favorite. Baker an NFL, is he an NFL quarterback anymore? Um, he's a backup quarterback that could get a chance That's, to prove himself as an NFL quarterback. I feel like the best fit it would be the Patriots with Bill Belichick playing defense, running the ball. It would be it would be like him being on the Browns, except 
What you know, I love. Historically, <laughs> not a poverty franchise. I feel like the 49ers is an actual possibility because of the quarterback situation that happened last night. And Trey Lance is also out. It, same same thing you saying about the Patriots, but he would actually have the started job. You got Kyle Shanahan, who's going to be calling him plays. You got Debo, CMC, Kittle. The 49ers, after that CMC trade, they bought into this season. It's like they got no choice but to get a quarterback somehow. I do not think they're going to start that that quarterback for too many weeks who was the last overall pick. Like, come on. What was it? What's his name? He was the Brock last Purdy. overall pick. <laughs> he was the last overall pick. Brock, Brock Purdy. Oh, Brock Purdy. Yeah. Yeah, that's that not too Purdy. Purdy. Hey. <laughs> I know it's <laughs> crazy because I'm a Texas fan, and he was at uh, Iowa State. He used to, you know, do his thing up there at Iowa State. But hey, he looked, y'all can't lie, he looked good. Like, he looked good yesterday for somebody who just got thrown into the fire the way he did. He looked good. Yeah, imagine Kyle Shanahan can make him look like a quarterback. Imagine Matt Ryan. Come on, oh, no. Matt Ryan, I'm telling you, bro. Matt Ryan's fall off has been crazy. Yeah. I don't. I just don't see it. I don't see it, bro. How long did Jimmy not play last night? What do you mean? How long? When did he get hurt? Like when did he get hurt? Like how far into the game did he make it? I think he got hurt the first quarter. Oh, bro. Yeah. Forget Baker. Baker needs to go to New England. Let Brock Purdy take over, bro. He did fine. I, 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 don't know. I don't know. I just don't think Baker is an NFL quarterback anymore. I could. Cause I, the only reason why I'm saying that is because he let me down so hard. In the beginning of the season, when we first started, I'm pretty sure we can go back and look. I said. Y'all. I admit when I'm wrong. I said that I feel like Baker Mayfield could be a top 10. We could creep back into the top 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 range yeah, yeah, yeah. with this Carolina offense. He is not. And he hasn't even been cl- even close. He's like the 34th best quarterback in the NFL. Yeah, that. It's not the right scheme, bro. He needs to be in a scheme where they just run the ball and play defense. Yeah. Well, he don't have to pass like that because even when he had he had Jarvis Landry, he had David Njoku, he had Odell Beckham. Nick what Chubb. Do do? Kareem they Hunt. Were- Okay. The best Hold on. Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt. What did they, they do? do with Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. They went. They went to the playoffs. They beat the Steelers. Obliterated the yeah, Steelers. Yeah, the the trash ass Steelers. Like oh, shit. Got, what, bro? <laughs> got you a Steelers fan. I forgot he was a Steelers fan. I forgot. <laughs> Snap, bro. Hey, what happened in Super Bowl? Uh, what number was that? Super Bowl forty-eight. When the snap went over Peyton's head. Oh, I'm gonna say. Hey, he just crumbled up, went right downhill, bro. All right, now let's re- yeah, let's recap though. Week thirteen, we're gonna start off with last night's Sunday night game with the Dallas Cowboys versus the Colts. And Mike, you could go ahead, yes, sir. All right, now let's get into this. Okay, so I gotta be fair to both sides. I gotta be fair to Indianapolis. They play one hell of, of three quarters. Like those three quarters, I was like, I was literally on my sitting on the edge of my chair. I was like, oh my gosh, you know what's gonna happen next. Cause Matt Ryan, you know, they was di- he was nickel and diamond up the field. You know, he was do- he was literally doing his thing, and that touchdown to um, Alec Pierce, I seen it coming. Isaiah Kelvin Joseph, holy shit, Kelvin Joseph, he's about to get torched. What happened? He got fucking mossed. Anthony Anthony Brown went down with a bad injury. Towards Achilles, that is never it's never good. You know. So, prayers up to Andy yeah, Brown. Like he comes back and cover. But that doesn't take away from the fact that he's still ass. Hold on, hold on, okay. hold on. We're going to ignore Trayvon getting burnt. Like you, How are you going to bring up Kelvin? Stop. How are you going to bring up Kelvin stop. and Amp stop. but not Trayvon getting oh, burnt? All right, bro, listen, stop. If you did, you didn't watch the play. I did. Saying, I did. I watched he it. Did not, he did not get burnt. If you look at what happened, <laughs> if you look at what happened, he didn't even look at the wide receiver the whole entire round. So the only way you get burned is if you're one on one with the wide receiver staring at him and he fucking cook you. Trayvon Diggs did not get burnt. He was he bit Matt Ryan. If you watch, he pump faked Matt Ryan pump faked and he bit on the slant. He didn't bite on anything the receiver did. He wasn't even looking at the wide receiver. He bit on the pump fake. The wide receiver saw that he was like, okay, fuck it. He took it up to the end zone, bro. It happens. 
I he did I'm gonna say he didn't get burnt. That's not getting burnt. You know what, bro? People say people take getting burnt and biting on stuff as two different things. When you when you bite, he bit on the pump fake. He didn't bit on bite on anything the wide receiver did. Was that? Sure I'm not gonna, and I know I'm not gonna mention that because you were I, bro. You knew one of y'all two was gonna mention it, and it's not worth talking about because we still up scoring fifty four fucking points. Was that touchdown trade on Diggs' fault? It was. It was more so a magical one thousand IQ play by Matt Ryan than it is on Trayvon. Then it is Trayvon Diggs' fault. So Trayvon yeah. Diggs is getting letting a washed quarterback do magical things, is what you're telling me. <laughs> all, right, all right, keep going, keep going. No, no, pause, because I'm about to, no, bro. Bro, I mean, what, you, what is so yeah, hard? Listen, hold on, hold on. When you have 14, 15 years of experience, and you're going against a cornerback who's only been playing cornerback for four years, he's only been playing cornerback for four years of his life. That's what you do. That's the stuff you're supposed to do. When, when Matt Ryan was in his MVP, when he won his MVP in 2016, you want to know what Trayvon Diggs was doing? Playing wide receiver. He didn't switch the quarterback until like 2018. So when you are a quarterback of that caliber with that kind of mind, because Matt Ryan is one of the smartest quarterbacks in the NFL. Yeah, his physicality, his uh, physical attributes have like gone down drastically since 2016. But still, when you have an IQ like Matt Ryan does, and you see stuff like that, and you know that hey, this nigga, this quarterback is aggressive the way he is. That is the stuff you do when you have the experience that Matt Ryan has. That was more of a great play by Matt Ryan than it is a, dig, a knock on Trayvon Diggs because that's what they do. That's what the, some of the best quarterbacks in NFL history do. What's so hard for Cowboys fans to just say it was his fault? I'm not saying he sucks. It, it was his I fault, did, though. Did, well, you you shot, said he... Shot, you, did, you I, said did, he not, did I not you're say... Making, well, you, you, you dodged the question. You said he's only been playing quarter, cornerback for four years. No, I didn't have I that. Just say it was his more, fault. I said, no, shot, bro. I said it was more of a play by Trayvon Diggs <laughs> no, than it is. No, bye, bye. It was more of a play by Matt Ryan than it is a knock on Trayvon Diggs bro, because of the experience he has. Right. Look, <laughs> Trayvon Diggs is not perfect, and he's not the best cornerback to ever play in NFL history. He could be, potentially, but he's not yet if he is going to be. And he can make mistakes, but at the same time, uh, Mike's saying that Matt Ryan deserves more credit than Trayvon deserves hate for that play just because it was a great play by Matt. So Thank you. No, Thank yeah, you. I understand that, but you got to give both players, they you got to give Trayvon some accountability. He that That's my problem with him. He always falls that. for the pump fix. My problem with him that. is how he always falls for the pump fix going for the picks. It's not, it's not, that. It's not oh. his one-on-one -on -one coverage, and that happened last night. All I was saying is, well, did he do that last night? And you're dodging the question. It just, every time I talk about Trayvon, bro, I, I said Trayvon has been a top five corner. And just because he let one touchdown up, it, it doesn't change my opinion on him. I was just asking you, was that his fault? And you were dodging the question crazy. I did not, I did not dodge, bro. I said, I, I said, yeah. It uh, could uh, be. It, both things could be true. It could be his fault. It, it is both. It is both. Or it could just be a great play by Matt Ryan. It's, both. it's the second half. Yeah, it's the yeah. second part. Matt Ryan is just a he is a great quarterback, and that's what great quarterbacks do. He's washed. That doesn't take away the fact that he's still one of the smartest quarterbacks in the NFL. It was yeah. a twenty yard pass, bro. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right chill, but Trayvon is still, I'm, not, I'm not saying Trayvon sucks. I'm not saying Trayvon sucks. I'm not saying that. I, I just wanted to see would you be willing to say it was Trayvon's fault. And it looked very I hard for you to say. That. I said that. Uh, I said I said that. I said he's too aggressive and he, he's too aggressive. That's his fault. I said that. Did I or did I not say that? It took you a while to say it. But he, it, 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 you ended up saying it. Aggressive is fire. I like gunslinger. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I like you too, though. Have that I like Trayvon you because he gets a ton of picks, bro. Yeah, he he's been he's been doing he's been doing he's been doing great this season. He's been picking when to be aggressive way better too. I I like I still like Trayvon's play overall this season. I it was just that one play. But you can keep going on what you were saying about the Cowboys. Um, hold on, it's about to be my turn to pick. Um, like I was oh shit, and please let Anthony Richardson still be here. Please, guy. Oh, y'all doing the NFL draft right now? Yeah, we're in the draft. Oh, my God, the same. Oh, it is my pick. 
Hold on, hold on, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get draft pick. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Pete, you got a few things to say about and, the Cowboys and, game. I woke up and I had fallen asleep and not watched it. I watched the other games, but I saw the score was pretty incredible. My first thought was like, "Dang, I wish the Steelers beat them that much by that much." But it is what it is. Then I went to look in the stats and I was like, "Bro, nobody on the Cowboys really did anything that made me like, wow, that's a crazy huge game." It just seemed like all the Cowboys players collectively just all had really good games, and they just basically just dominated the Colts. I just found it really impressive. It's why I have the Cowboys coming out of the NFC. I don't know why you keep saying the Niners. Yeah. Especially because they just lost to the Niners, Niners, bro. I mean, the Niners are good, but the Cowboys are just like, uh, bro, they just feel different this year. I don't, I don't know the NFC no more. The Niners lost a, I, I don't got an opinion yet. They, the Niners lost a quarterback. And y'all y'all know how high I was on the I, I, I don't see it doesn't, matter. it doesn't it doesn't matter. Jimmy Garoppolo, Trey Lance, Brock Purdy doesn't matter, bro. Dak Prescott's uh, better than all of I feel them. like I feel like now in the NFC the, the Cowboys got the highest floor, but the Eagles got the highest ceiling. Cowboys the Eagles can't be around. beat. So the way around. Yeah. No, no, no. I think I think the Eagles got the highest ceiling because it all depends on Jalen Hurts and how he plays in the playoffs. But the Cowboys, I I, I trust what they're doing more in the playoffs to just be consistent. The Eagles, teams could scheme around them and, and absolutely take out their run game with Jalen Hurts. But the Cowboys, you know, that Dak, Dak is uh, he's decent. He he's cool. He's not bro. What? Bro, yeah, did you see that? Did you see that than, than Jalen, bro? Yeah, yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. They got a higher floor because Dak is a better because of that. That's no, no, they got a higher floor because if Jalen proves me wrong, come on. Jalen could prove us wrong. When we get to the end. The Eagles have the higher floor because they're a running team. No, the Eagles got the lower floor because they're a running team, and if that gets eliminated and they and they can't pass, they they. Bro, we seen it last year in the playoffs with the Bucks. They they they, they couldn't do nothing on offense because they could do that all game. If a team in the playoffs, that means they're playing a good team if they're in the playoffs, and they they're gonna have a bye week, so it's gonna be in the second round of the playoffs. Scheme up for them. They they could they could lose. You could stop the run and force them to pass. But hold on, but well, we, let's talk about this when we get to the Eagles game. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. say about the Eagles game, but back to the Cowboys game. Uh, like I said, I gotta be fair to both. The Colts played one hell of three. They played three quarters, amazing three quarters. Fourth quarter, they just happened to crumble, and that's when we just stepped on the stepped on the gas pedal and did what we do best. You know, we take the ball away. What, we, what do the Cowboys do best? Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they get to the quarterback and they take the ball away. If we're going to do anything, well, that's the two things that we're going to do. We're going to get to the quarterback and we're going to take the ball yeah, away. I got Parsons in the case. Offensively, offensively, you know, we got, we always, we are a second half team. We always get out the blocks real slow, especially against teams we feel like we're better than. Well, not feel like, then we know that we're better than, like the Colts, like, um, like the Lions when we got out, and like the uh, Bears, like we got out to slow starts against teams like that, and I don't feel like we should do that because that's not good. Because especially for the future, um, but when we put up thirty three points in the fourth quarter, it was because Matt. You seen that Matt? You seen his? Uh, he's not the same quarterback as he was. Not even last year. He has gone. Matt Ryan had is he has gone down and. You know, that's the life that happens. People get old. You know, he's older. He's just, he hasn't, he's not Tom Brady. Nobody's Tom Brady. But I, that's why I attribute that fit those 54 points more to our defense than our offense. Yeah, I totally agree. City, and City Lamb is that guy. Y'all, it, it just has to be said. City Lamb is come starting to be him. And you know what's crazy? I hate this so much. What? Cow, cowboy haters like yourself. Bro, come on, bro. Listen, listen. All right, say cowboy what you haters say. like yourself, you y'all need to be. My biggest gripe about cowboy haters is y'all are not consistent in y'all's criticism. I was telling my dad this. He's a Cowboys fan, but I don't know if he grasped this concept. People who don't like the Cowboys or always have something negative to say about the Cowboys are not consistent in their criticisms. When City Lamb torches, you know, when he torches a backup uh, cornerback, he gets hated. Everybody's like, oh, it's a backup. Well, let A.J. Brown 
or Terry McLaurin or one of these other top tier wide receivers or Justin, especially or Justin Jefferson or Devontae Adams do the exact same thing to these same cornerbacks. And what happens? They get posted on fucking Twitter and Twitter goes crazy because nobody is no hater. No cowboy hater is consistent. If you're going to judge one cowboy player like this, please make sure you do it for the rest of the league. And I understand that the Cowboys, when it comes to the media, we're all the way up here, and our expectations yeah, are going to be up here. Everybody else is down here, but that, I don't like that. Just be consistent. That's all I want. Hey, hey, calling me a Cowboys hater after last week, that, that CD catch I said was one of the best catches I've seen. I, I talk highly on Zeke. Uh, only, only thing I do that you may not like is I don't think Dak is a top 10 quarterback. E, Trayvon, but, uh, Trayvon, I say he's top 5. Michael, I, I say Zach he's not, the best. How can Zach not be a top 10 quarterback? I'm going right. to name him. I'm going right now. I'm going to name the quarterbacks right now. Burrow, Burrow, Mahomes, Josh Allen, Burrow, Mahomes, Josh Allen, Justin, I don't want to put Justin Herbert up there, but Herbert, Tua, um, Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson, no, no, not even Lamar, because he ain't been playing like the top 10 quarterback, Jalen Hurts, shit, oh, Jalen, okay, that's six, Dak, no, shut up, shock, Dak, who else? I, I, I gotta see a list of names, but but all I know is hold on, hold on, hold on. Pickett, right after Dak, hold on. All those guys, hold on. Kenny Pickett. That that second interception that Dak threw that didn't count as an interception because somehow hit the ground. How did it? I, wa I kept watching it. I did not it see hit it the hit ground. the ground. Hey, I don't make the rules. It hit the ground. <laughs> I just said it hit the ground. It hit the ground. <laughs> hey, but let let me tell you, it's not even the interception that I have a problem with. On that that one throw is just an example. CD Lamb is wide open for an out route, and somehow Dak throws the ball behind him and low. He Wait, slipped. CD Lamb slipped. No, CD Lamb slipped because he had to go backwards. That that's he Dak was... throwing the ball. CD Lamb got open. CD Lamb did his job. Dak threw the ball behind him and low, so he had to he had to slip to the floor and try and grab it. Bro, that last night when I was watching, it was hard to see me. It was hard to watch Dak throw the ball past ten yards. It, it was hard for me to watch. Bro, but he did it multiple but, times. It, it, yeah, but it, it, he, it was not consistent. Did he Dalton Schultz over the middle? Did he not do that? Um, I, I turned off the game after halftime after the fumble six. At, during the fumble six, I just turned it off. I was like, yeah, Kyle, this is about to get ugly. So I just turned it off after that. I didn't see that personally. But CeeDee Lamb had a heads-up play where where he, on his touchdown, where he knew he didn't get get tackled yeah, we know he didn't get touched yeah yeah, yeah i love that, that while cool. i was wa while i was watching that i was going crazy and I, i'm a, i'm apparently a cowboys hater that's crazy man bro okay I, listen hear me out i hate the giants i hate the giants fuck the giants but i, I still like saquon and i still love the odell beckham kids but i still hate the giants now the odell beckham kids that's the last time you could compliment us is crazy that was 2014 <laughs> y'all ain't done shit since y'all had a losing record Every year except for this year, since that catch. Yeah, damn. So, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Down there. You know, so how can I how can I compliment y'all if y'all haven't done anything? Yeah, but I just want to talk about the Cowboys real quick. They played a great game. If Dak Prescott could just play above average, they're scary. I'm I'm gonna be honest. Oh, he with you. did. He did play above average. I'm gonna be honest with you. I I don't feel like there's no quarterback I trust in the NFC right now because Jalen Hurts has to prove it to me. Dak Prescott got to show me a little more. Tom Brady is iffy, but like it's like if it's anyone I trust is Tom Brady just because he's Tom Brady out of all the teams in the playoffs right now. It's like I don't know what's I don't know with I don't know what's going on in the NFC, but someone gonna gonna make the Super Bowl over here, and someone gonna come in second place. Like like NFC is just the runner up at this point, unless the Eagles win the Super Bowl, which I doubt. But let's go to the Steelers versus the Falcons game. Shock, what you got to say about this one? Well, it's, it, it is a tale of two halves, okay? I don't know if you guys watched the game, but the game wasn't close at all. We dominated them, like straight dominated them. And then late in the third quarter, we kind of we kind of popped the tire low-key a little bit, offense and defense. Offense stalled out. Defense started giving up. They gave up a touchdown. They gave up a field goal. And all of a sudden, we were down. We were up like 19 to 6. And now it's like, oh, well, all they need is one more stop and they could literally beat us, bro. So it was just it was just a tough game because 
it's just you just you just think that like the Steelers come out so we we we've been coming out first half really well. Colts, Falcons. We should blow these teams out the way we've been coming out at half uh before halftime and then after halftime we just get flat and it's just, you know, it's cause for concern for me, but at least we're winning and having concerns. So two and oh the last two weeks. Kenny Pickett, top ten quarterback, you know, getting ready to He's getting ready to be there soon, for real, though. Like, actually, he's going to be a top-10 quarterback. I really believe that now. I mean, he looks really good, to be honest to me. He's definitely our franchise quarterback. People that keep saying, like, oh, Steelers are going to draft a quarterback. Nah, bro, we're not drafting a quarterback. Not he's yet. our guy. Mm -hmm. And Pat Fryermuth, shout-out to Pat Fryermuth, led the team in receiving yards, had a 57-yard reception. Minka ends the game, pick. You know, we could we could he could have picked six that, you know, made the score look better, but he didn't. Um, yeah, again, we just dominated, but you see, I just want to have a consistent four quarter game moving forward. Like when we play the Ravens, probably gonna play them with Huntley. I want to have a four quarter game, bro. Hey, you seen that nasty stiff arm by Najee? Oh, yeah, I watched that live, bro. Hey, I watched that live, yeah, dude. Najee is <laughs> Najee is clearly washed, according to Mike, and yes. <laughs> I can I can see it as he's continuing to to play the best football of his pretty much his life because he's playing in the NFL now. He looks great, bro. He looks way better than he did earlier this season and last season. So, I mean, clearly washed, I guess. But you know, yeah, I I don't really got too much to say about this game, but I seen that Najee Harris stiff arm. Hey. Yeah, I mean, Deontay dropped a wide open pass. Najee looks good. Pat looks good. Kenny looks good. Those are three winners. Defense looks up and down. I wouldn't call them a winner. It's more neutral. TJ Watt continues to be a loser. He keeps, like, not a loser in general. Like, overall, he's a great player, but he keeps not really doing anything. He's just kind of attracting attention, but not really making any any plays. I mean, he did get a run stop, but, like... You said TJ Watt? Yeah. I want to be see fair, it. he's 4-1 this year when he's on the field. Y'all are 4-1 no, I, I know. I know. So, like overall, he's not a overall he's not a loser. But like by his standards, he's not yeah, yeah. individually standard, bro. He's not playing to his standards, yeah. and that's unfortunate. Alex Highsmith, another loser from this game. He didn't he didn't do what he's been doing. Uh, Minka winner back on getting a pick. Um, yeah, so that's that's big. oh Matthew Wright winner, bro. He's bank shot king, bro. He hit another bank shot two weeks in a row and hasn't hasn't missed a field goal as well. How do you so, feel about Deontay Johnson, like his season so far? Super bad, big, yeah. super big L loser yeah. season, bro. He he signs a big contract. What is it? Week thirteen is about to be week fourteen, no and touchdown? he still hasn't ca he hasn't caught a touchdown yet since signing that deal. Yeah, that's tough. I mean, he's dropped, he's dropped a couple. <laughs> bro, he's, he's dropped, dropped a couple. Down, dropping easy catches. So yeah, I want to see him get back. Mike, you got anything you want to say about this game? Uh, all I'm going to say is it should have been more points. There's no way. Both teams both teams are bad, you know. Uh, they deserve top 10 picks because of how bad they are. But, you know, there's, there's not much to say. There's not much to say about it except there should have been more points scored. I expected, especially from the Falcons, I expected more than 16. They should have. I, I thought they were. I know the Steelers' defense is good, but come on, Falcons. Do something. Fight back. <laughs> no, nah, the Steelers' defense is actually really good. Like, if they if they get s somehow weapons in the offseason for their offense, they can actually be a pretty decent team because of that that defense. You got Mike Minka and TJ. That that that's a start. You already yeah. a good defense with those two, and they just got role players like Smith, Alex Highsmith around them. It'd be a good team. We need an offense. Four 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 fumbles. Yeah, need an offense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they just need an offense bad. Can't be. You can't have ten sacks and be a role player. That's crazy. No, nah, I, I, I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to. That's what y'all need to do. Yeah, we need to get Frank Reich as our offensive coordinator, and another winner from the game is our offensive line. They keep getting better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If y'all draft, glad, the, I'm glad to see that. Yeah, I love to see y'all draft like the top tackle in this draft or something like that. Hey, Dan Moore is from my area, actually. Shout out Dan Moore from the Fall Nine. Hey, he, 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 he the top. He the top tackle. I don't yeah, know. he's a starting left tackle. No, but who's the top tackles in the draft? Cause I seen him. He's, he's not our best tackle. He's one. Oh, okay. He's up there. He's our starting. He's our starting. 
He's our second best tackle. He's one of our starting tackles. Yeah, I was talking about in the yeah. draft, like, because they're going to have a high draft pick. Like, I seen there was a tackle who was really good. High draft pick. Y'all going to have a top 10 pick, bro. Well, what's your record? We're not right? have a top 10 pick. What's your record? We've won two games in a row. Yeah, but what's huh? our record? We're five and seven. All right. We're two but, games under 500. Yeah. Or, all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll stop. I'll stop with the Bryce yeah, Young. I'll stop, I'll, I'll stop with the Bryce Young. I'll stop with it. But let's talk We're about We're not it. getting a quarterback. Bro, even if we pick number one overall, we are not getting a quarterback. No, no. Number one, y'all would, but but after that, no. Or or if not, y'all y'all would trade out the pick and get a lot of. We would trade out of the pick. Yeah. We would not get a quarterback. Yeah. We're yeah. good with Kenny. Yeah, I, I, don't hate I don't hate that. But let's get into the Giants Commanders game. This this game was ugly, bro. This ended in a tie. I I hate ties, man, because it just it it doesn't benefit anyone. It doesn't benefit you in the draft. It doesn't benefit you in the playoffs. It's just a weird stain on your record. And I didn't. Really- it hurts. It hurts the. It hurts teams more than helps. That's yeah. why I feel like NFL should adapt college football over time instead of ties because ties are so stupid. They're so dumb. How 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 does college do it? They go, I know, well, I think they go, if you uh, score a touchdown, whoever gets the ball first, you score a touchdown, the other team has a chance to score a touchdown. If they both score, they do that again. Uh, and if they score, both of them keep scoring. I think they start doing two-point conversions. I know it's high, it's high school that way because that's how my, my uh, high school just lost. Uh, we lost 58, 56 on that bullshit. But – we're talking NFL here. Uh, I don't. I think after that is two point conversions. I remember uh, LSU and Texas A and M went to seven overtimes a couple years ago, and the final score was seventy four seventy two. So I think it. I think it goes by two point conversions after, uh, on the third one. Uh, I, I don't know, but I just hate tying the game because I didn't really keep up with the game. I joined in with like two minutes left in the fourth quarter. Bro, the second play I bro, as soon as I start watching, the second play I see is Jahan Dotson catches a slant, <clears throat> spin, uh, touchdown, bro. I'm watching the game like, oh shit, bro. I came, I came at a good time, but not, not for the Giants. And then after that, we get, we get like a three and out, punt the ball. After that punt, Kayvon Thibodeau. Let me tell you right now, he may not be him yet, but he is on his way to being him. Yeah, he, he is. He, he is, is on, man. And then Aziz Aljalari, when he comes back next season, we we gotta have an actual good edge rushing duel. Yeah, even I can I see that's all I hate y'all, but even I can agree with that. Y'all are bro. Um, this game on Super Bowl against the Cowboys, he was. I he was he gonna got, a lot of pressure. I he was gonna. I thought he was gonna kill Dak eventually, but I'm yeah. glad he never got there. So yeah, yeah, he just gotta. He'll figure that out. He'll figure that out. But I thought that. We were about to win the game on on that sack because it was so close to the red zone. I thought it was a safety. I was gonna, bro. If we would have won like that. I would have came on this app going crazy about Kayvon, but obviously nothing happened. End up punting the ball again, bro. Br- Graham Cano, our kicker. I thought that kick went in. I started celebrating, bro. I'm, I'm at work celebrating, and then I look, I look back in the screen. We in overtime, bro. I'm like, bro. Oh my goodness. We would have drilled it. Red Mar with a drill. Yeah, 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 long. yeah. Soon as we Brandon soon as McManus? We, Brandon McManus? Brandon the Broncos? Yeah. Yeah. He would have drilled it too. Hey, say that other kicker name again. Brett Maher. Brett Maher. That's, uh, that's the Cowboys. Yeah. 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 yeah I'm so glad he's back in Dallas. I'm so glad he's back in Dallas, man. Greg Zerline wasn't getting it done. Greg Zerline cost us a couple times. I'm so glad Brett is back. Ganobe actually pretty good, like he won us the game against the Titans. He's won us a couple games. It's just this game, he ain't lose us it, obviously, but we, we ended up in the tie. Soon as it soon as we went to overtime, I knew it was gonna be a tie. Like I literally knew it was gonna be a tie. Like watching both of us move the ball was it was just bad. And I don't really got much to say about this game. It, it was a nasty game. We ended up in the tie. That's the worst thing you could do. And hopefully I don't I think we're gonna fall out, honestly. I think the Giants are going to fall out the NFC playoff. Y'all are in. Y'all are in. If the season was the end today, y'all will be in. Yeah, but I think I think we're going to fall. Our re- our record is tough. Like the rest of our schedule is tough. I see yeah. that game against the Cowboys. I really thought we were going to win. Like not not even on some troll shit. Not not even on some troll shit. I really thought we was going to win. And there was another game that we were supposed to win and we ended up losing with against the Lions. 
Y'all, no, y'all were not supposed to win that game. Y'all got murdered. Nah, bro. Win? Like, going into that game, we were supposed to win. Like, oh, okay. Y'all should have lost. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah. Like, the, Lion, the Lions game really hurt us. Us losing that game, I think that cost the, may have cost us the playoffs, and the Seahawks is going to take our spot. No, no, no. Y'all can, both y'all and the Seahawks can get in. It'll be the Commanders that fall out because the Commanders already have fun. They Like, if season was in today, the Commanders yeah. are in. I think we got two y'all games against it. the Eagles left, bro. Y'all do. Y'all do. And then... We I hope... Hey, please win them. That's the only time I'm going for y'all. Win them, please. Uh, we, we play the Eagles next week. Hey, that, but... Last season against the Eagles, we did really good against them. And our, our team only got better, but so has the Eagles, but... The Eagles got way better. Yeah, Eagle, Eagles got way better, but... We actually schemed up against them really well, but it's a whole different... It's a whole different staff. That, that was when... Patrick Graham? Oh, my goodness. Who was our defensive coordinator name last year? It was Patrick Graham. Oh, Patrick Graham. Yeah, when he... he, I liked him, bro. I, I kind of wish we still had him. But he didn't want to have a whole new regime. But, yeah, I don't really got much to say else about this game. Now, let's talk about the game that we, we were all talking about. The, the talk of the week. The Cleveland Browns versus the Houston Texans. A disgusting game. Yeah, you know, I, yeah. I don't even want to cover it. Yeah, you know, but there's but there is one thing I want to say. I don't want to win. They sold. I don't want to get political on this on this podcast, but um, I think that it's kind of weird how. Hold on, my fucking franchise is tweaking. How the his victims are in a suite with their lawyer watching this man play. I know if I was a woman and I got sexually assaulted by someone, I wouldn't want to be a million feet of this person. Why would I want to be around him watching him play football? Like they, they, there's just something about that that doesn't sit right with me. But uh, onto the game, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you talk about it again, I I just want to mention that Deshaun. I I thought it was really weird at first too, but that whole situation. But Deshaun Watson apologizing. Is a red flag, and him having fifty massage therapists is another red flag. I don't really got too much opinions on on whatever happened. He's playing football. That that's what we here to watch at the end of the day. But those two things are really weird. Come, on. shock. How many massage therapists you think you need? Does fifty sound like too much? I don't. I don't know about all that. Bro. All I know is. Fifty massage therapists. Know, so it's 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 just something hard. We we've never been in yeah. either of their shoes, so I don't think we can speak yeah, on yeah, what yeah. people that are would not be doing in their situation. But I just think that I think there are red flags there. You know, I, I don't like like Mike said. You know, I don't want to get into it too much, yeah. but I also don't want to speculate versus like what people would be doing if this and that myself. But also, yeah, I just definitely think there's a lot of red flags around the Deshaun Watson thing. And I was just really pulling for the Texans to win this game. I, I, I'm bummed out that they they sold the way they did, bro. Like, I, I did not want Deshaun Watson. Oh, yeah, in his little debut, he's going to come and beat the team he left. Like, yeah. it was so weird for a bunch of different a bunch of different. Yeah, um, and you, yeah, and you should know as a Steelers fan, like, that type of situation is weird. Oh, wow. Bro, it's, bro, look, I, I get it. It's in the same wheelhouse, but it's not even like we're talking about 20 plus yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's really like, yeah. it's really like a massive amount of people. Like, like you know, a mass shooter? That, that's like a mass, whatever that is. But the thing about that, bro, I don't know who to believe, bro. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That, when, it, when it gets up to 20, 20 something like that. Is crazy, but when there's ten of them watching him play football, it kind of makes it a little bit less believable. I don't, I, I, I don't know. Look, I'm all for believing women, but I don't believe all women because he's just be tripping. <laughs> all right, man. Let's um, get into the game. Let's get into the game. Hey, <laughs> we're, okay, we're about, we're gonna we're gonna start arguing, man. We got we got yeah, we gotta move on from this. <laughs> okay, wait, shock. Are you, so you're on the women's side, right? I'm. Bro, I'm not taking a side. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, like, that's not my business I, to I take just, a side. I find, I find Deshaun Watson's situation suspi- very suspicious. Uh, I don't, I don't find myself agreeing with him being innocent or guilty because it seems, it seems like obviously we can't prove he's guilty, but it seems very like it, it seems very suspicious. So I, I can't, I can't take a side. You know, like that's where I'm at. And then 
me seeing the women there at the game, you know, there could be a number of reasons why. Like, they they might want to just be like, that might be cathartic for them, you know? Like, if that really happened to them, which, you know, I mean, statistics say it probably it probably did, to be honest. But uh, it it's probably a, um, a way of them wor working out that trauma. So, I, you know, it's just, I don't find it making it less believable to me. I just find the whole situation kind of... I don't want to be around the whole situation, basically. But yeah, well, why would you want to like the? That's the part that's getting me. Why, as a vic, as a victim of sexual assault, whatever you want to call it, why would you be want to be around the person that did it? Because I know I, I, I don't know who was sexually assaulted, and they're traumatized. They don't even want to like just like they get triggered thinking about that kind of stuff. So why would you want to be around the person that did it to you? That's just me, though. Ah, let's just, talking about that. Let's just think, get into the game itself. Yeah, yeah. We're going to get fucked. Yeah. We're going to get canceled before we even get started, bro. <laughs> talking about shit like this. Hey, but man, the, the Browns, Deshaun didn't even look that good. I know it was his first game, but I seen him break a sack. I, I like seeing that from Deshaun Watson, you know, yeah, breaking a sack. But, but it was nothing really special about this game. You know, we, we really talked about this game. That All this game was was Deshaun Watson and the, and the, and the woman. Like, it, that's really what it was. Yeah. This game was nothing special. It was nothing special. I th it went it, it went how I thought it would go towards the second half. Now, the first half, I was like, what this game could very well end 5-0 to because it was that – ugly in the first half but i guess the browns turned it around and got their shit together towards the second half I mean, in the second half but deshaun watson did nothing special and there was nothing special about yeah. this game to talk about except the fact that he is finally back to playing football um so I but, hey as a fan of the afc north shock what do you think the ceiling is for the browns all right do you I mean, think they can make the playoffs like five and eight, five and seven. You think they could turn it around and make the playoffs? No. Let me let me let me let me see. So they don't know why I say no why? because the AFC no AFC yeah. East. Oh, it's way too strong. They're five and, and seven. The, We're five and seven. There's no way we, we have to we, play them one more time. Nah, bro. What's because. the Patriots record? Ain't the Patriots like six and six? Look, man. Huh? But the Jets are still seven and five. And the Jets will probably be the seventh seed. It's definitely Bro. possible still, though. Bruh, did you see? Like, they didn't look that good. No, nah, they didn't, but that was the song's first nah. game back in, like, two years. You're talking about the Steelers picking top ten and the, and the Browns potentially com coming back from five and seven. Steelers, if, if either of these teams are coming back from five and seven, it's going to be yeah, the Steelers, but the, but, not the, the Browns. but the Browns are adding someone who, when he was playing, I was saying that he's the second best quarterback in the league when he was playing. No. Deshaun no. Watts is never, ever, he, ever. He was a top three quarterback. He was, he was a top three quarterback. He was a top three quarterback. He's, he's, he's but, never a top ten. Yeah, but he's never been top two because you always right. had Patrick Mahomes, jo Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady. Those three there have they? There's never. He, been he was top four. Best. No debate to me. Top four in the league. Sean Watson has never had like a good, like a great winning season. You know, I, I know me having him top two was a hot take, even at, at that time. But he he was locked in top four. He, he was locked oh, in I top four. He had great stats, but winning matters as well. Like he needs to win games, and he has not been a winning quarterback consistently. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. nah. He was I feel like four to me. the Steelers, legitimately, like unbiased, the Steelers are more likely to make the playoffs in the Ivy than yeah. the Browns. And y'all still got to think about the Ravens. The Ravens are still what eight and four. Yeah, but yeah, they, bro, yeah the Browns straight, making these as a wild card though. They yeah yeah they're not making it as the, the division leaders. Well, within the okay, so say they make it freaking if Rustin and Sellers. Say they do make it as the wild card. There's still only two more teams, and that's probably going to be the Jets and. Then there's seven C Dolphins. Jets and Dolphins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. no. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah. No. yeah. They're, not, they're not making the playoffs. I don't think so either. I don't think so. We can catch the Jets. We can catch the Jets. I don't yeah. know. Jets, they should have. Mike White, I don't know, but he we, we does yeah. he have the clutch, Jane? Because he, he had two chances. Hey, he Mike White is him. Him. Take that lead. Mike White is him. Mike White is him. Mike White, yeah, we, we can catch him. We can catch him. We can catch him. 
he had two chances to take the lead in the Vikings red zone. I mean, in the red zone, and he did not capitalize on either chance. So, I mean, is he we're, really we're in it, bro? Are we seriously gonna Seven, say five, Mike five, White? Hey, no, name, name me the name me the Steelers games for the rest of this season. I got you. We got a good schedule besides the Ravens, but we actually get a break next week with Lamar, so we got to win that. All right, so Ravens, Panthers, Raiders, Ravens, Browns. Oh, shit. Let me find out. Oh, that, that schedule sounds easy, bro. We do. We have an easy end of schedule. I mean, yeah. we got divisional games, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that schedule do sound easy. All right, all right. We're going to see. What, all right. Hey, I might have to. I might have to take some stuff out back about the Steelers, man. They might, they might end over the Giants. It's just crazy. <laughs> Yo, imagine the Giants miss the playoffs and we make the playoffs. Hey, bro, that's probably gonna happen. How sick would you be? I, I wouldn't be too sick. I, I, it's whatever. Bro, didn't the Giants start like six and one? Uh, yeah. damn near, yeah. And the only loss was to. Oh, yeah, damn. Oh, lost boys. yeah, but our schedule was easy. That's the thing. It's starting to get tougher, and we're, we're starting to see who the Giants really are. And this Odell Beckham stuff is starting to get annoying. We're, yeah. we're, bro, you sure you can't get him? bro, nah, nah, not that, but like, sign, bro. <laughs> like, like, what's taking so he's much? Not, is he healthy? He's not leaving. Yeah, he's not leaving Dallas without a contract. So, right. the NFL playoffs yeah. starting. Damn near like five weeks. He has to learn a playbook, get chemistry with someone. You wanna know why he doesn't have to learn the playbook? I'm gonna tell you why. He's gonna because it is not this isn't a one year contract like it was with the Rams. His contract with the Rams was one year seven hundred fifty thousand. You know, he went to the Rams, he did what he had to do, you know, to get that ring, which he got. This contract here, this is for the future. This is not for this year. This is for the future, like lock him in for the future. But it's hard to get that Johnson. season. Huh? It's hard to get that midseason. The only team that can ho- offer him that is the Cowboys at the moment. Okay. And Jerry Jones, even say he already said, he's willing to do whatever yeah. to get Odell in the building. And like I said, this move, this Odell move is not for right now. It's not even for this year. It's for the future. It's for next year. Because Odell's going to want at least three years because he already said he want a place to retire. Come to Texas, we don't have we have no, no state income. tax. We have yeah. no state tax. The weather is beautiful almost all year round, except sometimes when it want to be during the winter. It's always constantly seventy degrees at least. We have uh, Dallas is the perfect situation for him. If he goes to the Cowboys, I'll I'll, I'll be higher on them. I'll be higher on them. But he yeah, has but to. He has to. He has to. Never, and the thing about that is, we don't even need him. We don't need him because you see what we did yesterday. You see what we did to the goddamn Vikings. We don't need Odell. I know, but Adam was like, like I was trying to tell my dad. Like I was trying to tell my dad. It's like it's it's like so we we already got something good. We already got something that's 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 great. But if you add one more piece to it, could it make it better. So he's that Odell might be that one piece. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, and, and another thing is Tyron Smith. Uh, he should be coming back soon. Like. If I want to see yeah, how yeah. sure. Tyron Smith coming back would be a big thing for the Cowboys. I I, I yeah. might be a little higher on the Cowboys now since the 49ers got hurt because I'm not a Cowboys hitter. If some if there's a reason for me to be higher on them, I'll be higher on them. But I got I got I got I got to let some things play out. I got to make up my mind with the NFC because I don't have an opinion on the NFC right now. I, I don't trust any of these quarterbacks really. And the Buccaneers damn near not even gonna make the playoffs. Cowboys are straight, bro. They're gonna make the bowl. <sighs> Hey, no, they're going to the only thing in our way is Philly, bro. That it don't and don't be surprised if there's a Cowboys Philly NFC Championship game. Don't be surprised. Yeah, because I promise you, we can run through the NFC. We can run through the NFC, bro. Because we got Minnesota. We already handled Seattle, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Giants, we already beat them twice. Tampa Bay, they ass. They're not good. There's let me pull up the NFC South. Uh, NFC South. Tampa and the Tampa and. Tampa you know, Eagles. that's actually, that's what I think is going to be the NFC Championship is Cowboys-Vikings. That's we, what I think it's going to be. All right, the Cowboys, it sounds like game. the Cowboys making the Super Bowl to you then. Huh? It sounds like the Cowboys making the Super Bowl to you then at that point. They are. Listen, this is the NFC. I can see, I can see, I can, I can see the Cowboys making the Super Bowl now. 
This is the NFC South right now. Tampa Bay, five and six. Atlanta, five and eight. Carolina, four and eight. New Orleans, four and eight. This division is still up for grabs. Literally anybody in this division can still win. Yeah. Like, and if I if I was a betting man, you know, I would probably put money on Atlanta. To hey, hey, stop grabs. giving betting advice, man. Hey, no, don't give no. no betting. I, just, if it was, I would put money on Atlanta to win this division because. They, they they score more than Tampa Bay. They they give them more points than Tampa Bay by a lot. But when you can score, when you can outscore somebody, you know, that's just me. I still think Atlanta could come in and win this division. And if they do, hey, that's what we got to play. And so we automatically all this <laughs> yeah, around. Yeah. So I'm going for Tampa. I want Tampa Bay is Tom Brady, bro. He's undefeated against the Cowboys. He's never lost to Dallas. So that's why I, it don't matter what. I'm still always going to. Have respect for Tom Brady because he's always beaten us. But Marcus Mariota, <laughs> yeah, Mariota, bro. Man. The NFC is wide open. I could see. I, I can now see the Cowboys doing making them put in pressure. I could. I could. Is the AFC not wide open as well? Uh, considering what Joe Burrow just did to Patrick Mahomes for the third time. But the the AFC actually got like legit contenders to me though. The NFC is wide open. What do you mean they have legit contenders? They have legit contenders. Like they have team. They have. If the Cowboys win the Super Bowl, like who's holding up that Super Bowl MVP trophy? Probably Michael Parsons. Or because he's the quarterback, Dak Prescott. Uh, like, like that, that, like. Cowboys, wait, if the Cowboys make the Super Bowl, you said who's winning? Who who's hoisting the like, Super Bowl yeah, MVP? Yeah. Can he pick it? All right, man. But. <laughs> <laughs> Are you projecting a Steelers Cowboys Super Bowl? Yo, all I'm saying is if we make the playoffs, yes. You gotta same thing's gonna happen that happened last year. Kansas City dropped forty two on y'all heads and if we y'all make back. Playoffs, yeah, yeah, that was crazy. crazy. <laughs> gonna be y'all on the ball, bro. Watch. Uh, all right, let's talk about the Dolphins 49ers now. We got Jimmy G out for the season, which is we need to get our get back against them boys. Nah, the 49ers losing Jimmy G is heartbreaking to me because I thought this team was 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 the team to beat. I, I really did, and we seen we seen what they did with Brock Purdy. They 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 the Dolphins with Tua was an undefeated team, and they they obliterated them, bro. The four, Nick, Nick Bosa had three sacks, looking like the defensive player of the year. CMC was going crazy. Yeah, yeah, well, it's, it's the baby. That, and but that's a scheme, you know. That is all credit. Every all credit goes to Mike Shanahan in that yeah. defense. I mean, yeah, Kyle, Kyle Shanahan, Kyle Shanahan yeah, yeah. in that defense, and D'Amico. D'Amico Ryan is a one hell of a coordinator. All, all the credit goes to them too because it's the scheme they drew up. And if you know, Mike McDaniel's came out of that San Francisco yes, system, sir. so that gave San Francisco a uh, a boost over yeah. over uh, Miami. And if Jimmy never got hurt, it would have been worse than what it was. I think. I just really trusted this 49ers team. I I, I, I want to see how things play out because, hey, they, they mess around and get Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield going to be hosting that Super Bowl MVP. Nah, nah, let me Baker tell you. Baker Mayfield's ass. <laughs> but I, but well, it's man, just like what you said, I'm bro. Not that good. I don't know why you're so high on them. Like, how I don't either. Bro. Chokeray is Ward. It's Jimmy cool. Ward. It's crazy, bro. Like, none of those quarter, none of their DBs compared to anybody on Dallas. Like no no, Deron Bland is breaking out. He's better than some of San Francisco. Yeah, DBs. but but the 49ers scheme is never the DBs. The corners is like the last thing that matters. They got good pass rush, good linebackers. They they got bro. good safeties. Like and they corners is also decent. Bro, the only place that they have a better a better position group than Dallas is tight end, receiver, and running um, back. I wouldn't even say receiver. If and we get Odell, then if we get Odell, then our receiving core is better than this. Backers. Um, yeah. Receiving core is debatable. Yeah. Receiving core is debatable. Yeah, that's what I said. No, they got yeah, Debo yeah. Samuel. Well, you saying that would be better. You know, it'll, it'll be debatable. I'm talking about receiving core. And receiving core in total, when you add Kittle, it, it's the front. Dallas has a better quarterback, cornerback, pass rusher, O line if Tyron Smith comes. Bro, it's just. But. It's like the 49ers O line is not that far off. And then the 49ers got the way better scheme, way better coaching. They they don't get penalties like the Cowboys. In the playoffs, that's gonna hurt them. The Cowboys don't get penalties like that. They got, they got the second most penalties in the league. 
the most. Yeah, we really had three penalties the last, uh, last night. Yeah, but I'm talking about the season. Yeah, yeah, bro, y'all, y'all, y'all watched the the Colts last night. That's not gonna be out every night. Up, He's gonna show up. Watch. I hope he does. Like, I love to see. I love to see the Cowboys do some damage, man. If Dak doesn't show up now, I mean, he's had way too much experience at this point. This what experience like has he ever won a playoff game? Yeah, he's won. He's yeah, one? he has one. Yeah, he's, he's it may be only be a one, but it should be. It should be fucking three because we should have beat should have be Green Bay. We got cheated against Green Bay, and I don't know. I don't, I, don't tell me last year. He was young, bro. He should have at least two. Because the forty at least two. I'm not gonna count the forty niners and the Rams because those are just better schemes. They just they were just better yeah. than us. So yeah, we can't young. keep calling Dak young and he got this potential. He's knocking on thirty, bro. Like no, he was young. Oh, now is no. his time. He's gonna he's yeah, gonna yeah, do yeah, something. Yeah. Now. He he, he, bro, yeah, he has to he has he has to he has to do something this year because our championship window is maybe over for about another two years. Maybe maybe that's a huge maybe. And that's crazy though. I hey, I love that for the Cowboys because they totally flipped the season. And, like, remember in the beginning of the season when Dak got hurt, people we was talking about uh them drafting that one edge rusher to pair up with Michael Parsons. People, we we the the Cowboys do begin overreacting too crazy. Like, they anything that happens with the Cowboys, it it's just over exaggerated. What what's that one yeah. edge rusher name? You know who I'm talking about? Uh-huh. The edge rusher, edge rusher in the draft. Oh, yeah. Will Anderson. Will Anderson, oh, yeah, Will. yeah, yeah. Remember we was talking about Will Anderson, Michael Parsons duel going to be crazy, and not now. Now we talking about the Cowboys in the Super Bowl. Like Cowboys, everyone be over exaggerating everything that happened to them. But you know that that's what comes with team with a good pass rusher already. Like that would be so lit. Yeah, but that, that's just what comes with being America's team. I hope Will Anderson goes to a team who already has a one good edge already. What about who who got the top picks in the trap? The the lion uh, the lions with Aiden Hutchinson. I think the Bears. If he goes to Philly, oh my God! Please God, don't let him go to Philly. That's I don't think he'll last that. He won't last that long because he he'll probably be the second or third player off the board behind Bryce Anderson, but behind Bryce Young. But but what about um the the other quarterback? Um, don't the Bears have Ohio, the Ohio State there? quarterback? Ohio State Stroud. Yes, yeah, CJ Stroud. The Bears. No, they do not. Who has number one overall pick? I just saw it. I was watching Bingo earlier. Uh, Jackson. Uh, uh, they dropped the quarterback. They, they dropped the quarterback. They dropped the quarterback. No, they dropped the quarterback. They have to. They're drafting a the quarterback, right? Okay. Hey, so so search up oh, Tankathon. Hey, sir, get Will Anderson, hey, one of y'all search up Tankathon. Who? Tankathon. Like Tank A Thon. I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay, so what am I looking at? Uh, NFL, like NFL, like who got the? It shows you like the order of the draft. Updates. Oh, draft, okay, okay. Uh, Houston, okay, so Houston, draft order is Houston, Houston, Chicago, Seattle, Detroit, Carolina, New. Uh, yo, if he falls to Philly, <laughs> hey, Seattle, Seattle is crazy. crazy. Seattle is crazy. Yeah. Broncos got the third. Bro, Broncos are the third worst team. And shock, you're gonna tell me. Me, me saying Baker to the Broncos is, is crazy? Bro, yes. bro. Yes, bro. Yes, it is. That is crazy they, because, bro, they already have 200 plus, 260 bro. million tied up already. Bro, light so a fire they, under that boy ass, bro. Something. <laughs> Something, bro. Give him some competition. Bro, so wait, who you said got number two again? The Bears? The ba- yes. Yeah, the Bears not drafting the quarterback. Will Anderson on no, the Bears. No, no, no. They're going to they're going to draft Will Anderson. Yeah. Yeah, Will Anderson on the Bears is tough. But what about tackle? They gotta build around Justin Fields with they gotta with some pick equity, they gotta use to build around Justin Fields. Oh, Will Anderson, bro. He's the best player on yeah, the draft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't hate that. Who who got the fourth pick? Lions via so they, the Rams. They go with the that- W, the Lions are W's. They're going to get a quarterback. They're going to get a QB. They're going to get the whoever is the second quarterback. Unless, 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 be CJ Stroud. unless the Seahawks do. The C- oh, oh, Seahawks could draft a quarterback too. They could draft a quarterback. Seahawks might get lucky just draft a quarterback. Like yeah. They got one pick. Yeah. They might just draft a franchise quarterback. Yeah. Hey, and then he can play behind Geno. Or Geno can still play, but just behind him. 
money he gets. Bro. Yeah. How much? Is hey, hey, we'll see. We'll see when the draft happens. Hey, we getting way off topic. Let's talk about uh, the other game last night with the, or was bro, this? Well, this wasn't bro, like this wasn't played last night. Right? Selling me. Yeah, that game, bro. Hey, this rivalry is starting. How could you, bro? Hey, 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 wait, how he sold you? How he sold you? All right, first of all, I had a few bets. I needed some field goals, you know. I needed some field goals. First of all, they sold me there. Yo, Raiders, Dolphins, Chiefs sold me on field goals. I need one more from each. I would have won 500. Nah, that's, that sounds like you sold, bro. That, that's too many people selling you. Raiders, Dolphins, no, and Chiefs. It was literally every team, every team <laughs> in that... Four o'clock games yeah. had to get two field goals. They sold. Nah, they sold. Um, also, I needed the Bengals to lose, and they couldn't beat the Bengals. Like, bro, what? The Dude. Chiefs? Thought the Chiefs are supposed to be world beaters. What's going on, bro? It's Joe Burrow. He's a criminal. Yeah, this is yeah, this look like a legit rivalry. Yeah, Joe Burrow's him, bro. And I'd love to see this keep going because people keep trying to force this Justin Herbert. Mahomes rivalry like like Mahomes isn't no. sweeping. No. Yeah, like no. Mahomes isn't sweeping. Bur Burrow is the real talk. Yeah. Burrow Mahomes. Yeah. It's not even Russ. It's not Russ. And I feel crazy for even thinking that uh The Chargers could have won the division. Yeah, I was crazy for even thinking that. Bro, I think M V P which is crazy. What bro, I don't know. I you just I just can't defend Herbert anymore then. Can't defend him anymore. Do you nah, think bro. He, he puts up good numbers yeah, they yeah, lose yeah. so much. It's like his situation, it's like we it's like every single offseason, it's like we overrate the Chargers situation. I remember going into the offseason, we talking about JC Jackson. Oh my goodness. Without Bill Belichick, he he looking, I I don't know. Joey Bosa. Bro. Joey hey, Bosa bro. was being dependent on to stay healthy throughout the whole season when he's never shown us he could do that. Same with Keenan Allen. Who else got hurt? Rashawn Slater got hurt, and he was a top tackle. It's like the Charles Rashawn Slater is a top tackle. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, I, just it just, it just, yeah, it's just always something with the Chargers. Though. Every every season this happens, it's like the Chargers you know, are the Chargers until they prove me prove to me they're not Chargers. Same thing I said, Tom Brady. R. What's up? You have your Burrow Mahomes rivalry. Low key, it's not even a rivalry yet, bro, because <laughs> Burrow has been dominating it. That's yeah. that can't be a rivalry. Patrick Mahomes bro, is the best quarterback bro, in the bro. league, though. And, and it's got at some point, Mahomes is gonna win. Show me. I, I don't know, man. I I, I don't like, know, man. I don't know. I don't know when. But at some point, there's, there's one part on this game that I want to address, bro. It's not the Travis Kelsey strip. It's not the Mahomes. You know his touchdowns. It is when the Bengals hit the two minute warning. Third and eleven, when Joe Burrow really needed to lock this game up, what did he do? He snapped the ball. He stood in the pocket. He threw a fucking laser to T. Higgins over the middle, twelve yards. One of the best throws I've seen this year. And because of the amount of pressure he had in his face, and he was unfazed. I was a Joe Burrow hater for two years. When he came out of LSU, I hated. I did not like Joe Burrow. I was like, I don't know how I feel about him. I don't think he's gonna be. I didn't think he was going to be better than Tua, Justin Herbert, or hell, even Jalen Hurts. I thought Justin Burrow was not worthy of the number one overall pick. When he got to the NFL, his first year, you know, freak accident, he fucked his knee up. Second year, he got to the Super Bowl. I was like, it's a fluke. <laughs> Joe Burrow is the real fucking deal, bro. Joe Burrow is him. He could be – there is a debate that he's a top three quarterback. It's, it's him, Josh Allen, and Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Josh he's, Allen. He's oh. up on Mahomes when he plays him, bro. <laughs> Josh Allen is one of my favorite players in the NFL. But it's like, y'all, I don't know, man. I don't know. He, he got the same amount of turnovers as Matt Ryan this season. And it's like. That's what happens when you're a gunslinger. Yeah. That's yeah. what kind of quarterback Josh Allen is. Yeah. You know, he's he's going to take jo that. Jo Josh, Allen, Josh Allen is top five quarterback, though. Top top four. Top, yeah, 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 but it's like it's, it's like even up for debate. Yeah, yeah, top three, just like he said, and Burrow has yeah. put himself in there somewhere. But it's like, 
I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It's like Josh Josh Allen. Josh Allen is starting to become like the the sweetheart. Like he always gets excuses. You, you feel me? It's like you know some players. Hey, hold on. Some hold players. On. Nobody gets more excuses than Justin Herbert. Yeah, but I already mentioned that. I already mentioned that. Like, well, I just mentioned that like five minutes ago. He 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 gets he gets every excuse in the league. But uh, Josh Allen, he also gets a lot of excuses. Like in the in last year in the in the playoffs when they lost, people blaming the NFL rules that he came into the game and knew that was the rules, and people blaming the rules on how they lost. They don't they don't blame Tyree Kilgan. Them allowing a sixty yard touchdown. Yeah, they, don't blame the they, they don't blame. They don't blame. No, it's it's just the rules. It's like every. You feel me? It's like come on. Because when Mahomes lost to, to Tom Brady, the same exact way in the playoffs. No, no, one, said no one said anything about that. But as soon as it's Josh yeah. Allen's turn, is oh my god, the rules suck. And then, and then the, did the NFL change the rules? The NFL yeah, changed the rule. The, yeah, the NFL the changed the rule due to that. But when it happened to Mahomes, it it, it didn't matter. It's like I don't know, man. I love Josh Allen. He's one of my personal favorite players before he even blew up. But it's like, I just I just hate seeing like people keep giving people excuses. That, that's just what it is. But Josh Allen is a top three quarterback. Um, I I got on I got a little bit off track with that little tangent. I think Burrow is number two right now. I think Josh is three. Yeah, Joe Burrow is. Bro, that's what I'm saying. It's debatable. It could be interchangeable. Anybody can be up there. Like, you can put either of those three up there, but yeah. without a doubt, it has to be those three. Like, if that's not your top three, you should stop talking football. I think Mahomes is still yeah. solid number one. Yeah, he's definitely number one. Yeah, and it's also situation. Like, if I feel like Aaron Rodgers in some of these players' situation would, would be more productive, but I, I'm not going to take that from Burrow. Aaron Rodgers, Allen. but he's not even in a bad situation. He's in a situation he put himself in. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. You're right. Stop being greedy, and yeah, you right. could pay. You can go get other players. Yeah, you're right. Right. He did it to himself, just like Russ. Yeah, I don't right. feel sympathy for Russ because he did this to himself. All right, and the, we got the last game of the week 13 slates we're going to talk about with the Eagles versus the Titans. And, Mike, you go. You said you had something you want to say about the Eagles game. Yeah, yeah. Um, when I was he fumbled uh, again? talking about huh? – AJ Brown fumbled? No, he ain't fumble this time. So I'm glad to see. I'm happy to see. I, I like AJ. Look, don't get me. I love AJ Brown. I like AJ Brown. I was an AJ Brown fan when he was in Tennessee. <laughs> I just my like for him has decreased because he plays in Philadelphia. I don't like nobody that's in the NFC East. But um, I could AJ Brown is a dog. But like I was saying earlier, how come when? Let's be honest. The Titans are playing backup cornerbacks. Those are backup cornerbacks. You would there's not a cornerback on that Titans roster who you will put top thirty. It's not. <laughs> and so when AJ Brown, you know, does what he does, and when even the shock, I'm sorry, but even the Steelers, they don't have a top cornerback that's top thirty. Sorry I had to say it. If like when AJ Brown killed those Steelers receivers, when he killed the Titans receivers, he got posted on Twitter. He got praised crazy. But if C.D. Lamb does that same thing to those same receivers, which he'll get the chance to to do to the Titans, I promise you, he's going to get dragged. He's going to say, okay, so why did he do this against this cornerback? Or why, where, was his, where was his performance against so-and-so who just happened to be a top-10 cornerback? But, or whatever. But when A.J. Brown gets locked up or – done bad by a top 10 cornerback, they give all the credit to the cornerback. I don't understand that. That's why I said all people be consistent in criticism. But like I was saying, A.J. Brown, when he made that play on Christian Fulton, where Christian Fulton bid on the double move and he just like kind of ran to A.J. Brown and just, that was a grown man move. Christian Fulton should be stronger. And that was a good play by A.J. Brown. And that other one where he went over the, where Jen Hurst threw it over the top and he just like landed right in his hands. AJ Brown just played one hell of a game, and revenge game it was. He got his revenge on the Titans, who didn't want to pay him. They, I bet they regret that now. He they has, should have paid him. He has more than double the touchdowns than the whole wide receiver core. You know, the whole, yeah, because they don't have any wide, any good wide receivers. Trailer, Trailer Burks went up and made a great play, but he got fucking creamed by Marcus Phillips. And, that was a crazy play. and you was talking about CD. I, I feel like you talking to the wrong people because, like, I don't discredit CD. That I don't. No, I'm not talking to y'all. I'm talking. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. You public. talking in general public? I'm, I'm talking to everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you don't like CD Lamb, I'm talking to you. But 
AJ Brown, he, yeah, he he even said himself he had this game circled on his calendar. Like I already knew, I I, I can't say I already knew he was gonna do this, but I knew he was gonna have him a game. And Titans, uh, are they they gonna make the playoffs? But it's they out in the first round. They out in the first round. Yeah, but but I, but I got off track. My my bad. But my point was like I was saying, Philly had a three hundred. Jalen Hurts had like a three hundred eighty yard game. Yeah, with three tutties. Devontae okay. against the thirty first ranked pass defense. Right. Last week when they had a three hundred sixty three yard rush game, what ranking is the Packers run defense? Hold on, it's like in the middle of the pack, I believe. Hold on. See, hold on. I just run defense 2022. I didn't pay attention to that game very much, so I don't really have much to say on that one. But no, I expect I, it to be more comp- competitive. I didn't really pay attention to it, but I got Jalen Hurts, Devontae Smith, and AJ Brown all on my fantasy team. So it's like I kind of, I kind of, I kind of seen, I kind of got an idea what happened because Devontae had over 100 yards. Same with AJ Brown with two tutties. Devontae also had a tutty, and AJ Brown. I mean, Jalen Hurts threw for three thirty-eight, three touchdowns. I might got that number right. Three thirty something. Yeah, he three eighty. Three eighty. Oh, I think I, I believe I believe it was three eighty. Hold on. All right, that's what's up. But e- even with this game, you heard me say my yeah, it the was re- 380, three touchdowns. But Mike, let me let me say something. Even even with that performance, you heard me say my reason. Eagles. I don't. I'm not. Totally sold on him. Is Jalen Hurts passing in the playoffs? I, I the regular season in playoffs is two whole different games. He's not going to play the tight a, a defense like the Titans in the playoffs. It's like, and if he does this, if he does this, that's why I said their ceiling is the highest. Because if Jalen Hurts, if this is actually him and he does this in the playoffs, I do not see the Eagles losing. Yeah, that's it. If he could throw 300 yards in a game, that opens up the run game because you're forced to guard the pass now. Hold on. But but this is all right. This back to what I was trying to say. All right. He threw 380 against a 31st ranked pass defense. They ran for 363 against a 30th ranked rush defense. Oh, shit. I thought that was middle. No, they are 30th. So what I, I was trying to say, if they, if the, Eagles run into a defense who can either be one top ten in both categories, or top five and then top fifteen in one. The Eagles are they can be in trouble just like they were against the Commanders. To beat the Eagles, you have to do two things: stop the run, chew the clock. Because if you chew the clock, that keeps the offense off the field, make their defense tired, and you pound and pound like the Commanders did. So I promise you, let the Eagles run into somebody who one. Who can have? Who has a top run defense and have have a middle of the pack pass defense? They're done. Or let somebody have a a, a top run defense and middle of the pack pass defense. They're still they're cooked either way. So all I'm saying is let somebody let the Eagles run to somebody with the middle of the pack defense on both sides on rushing and passing. And then what? A- another thing with the Eagles is Jordan Davis missing games is huge for them because he was one of the best run stoppers in the league already. And since he's been missing games, they they've been they've been trying to find out a new nose tackle. They they signed the Dominic. I think he's back. I think he's, he's back. He's back. Hey, if he's so. if he's back, I'm 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 back on not back on him totally, but I just want to see Hurts one playoff game. If Hurts has one playoff game with 300 yards, I'm sold on him. Yeah, well, no, he didn't play yesterday, but I think he did get activated off the IR. All right, well, let's get into our Would You Rather now. We got a Would You Rather with Jamar Chase. Which one of y'all would like to go first? Shaq, so, so you can go first. No, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to do something real quick. Shaq, so you can go first. All right. Jamar Chase. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. All, All right, Shaq. Right, so I'll go first. I got a Would You Rather. This is going to be the Jamar Chase edition, and I'm going to name you some people. All right. We got Stephon Diggs. Jamar Chase. Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams. Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill. AJ Brown. Jamar Chase. Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson. Cooper Cup. Jamar Chase. DeAndre Hopkins. Jamar Chase. Mike Evans. Mike Evans. 
Jalen Waddle. Jamar Chase. And Debo Samuel. Jamar Chase. Not a bad name. It's like Jamar Chase. Oh, this is debatable. I, there's one I disagreed yeah, with you. There, there's one I disagreed with you. Devontae, did you pick? I, I, we'll get into that later. I picked Devontae over Jamar. Oh, oh, you did? Okay, okay, okay. I was going to say. I, okay, so there's only one person over Jamar Chase? No, no, no. no. I picked Devontae, Tyreek, Justin, Jefferson, Cup, and Mike Evans. And Cup. Mike Evans? No, I didn't pick Cup. <laughs> I say Mike Evans? Yeah, Mike Evans. <laughs> uh, okay, you got it, son. No, <laughs> I picked Mike Evans. I did not pick Cup. I picked Jamar over Cup. Dude, that is crazy. <laughs> Mike <laughs> Evans? I picked Jamar over Cup, Bar. Oh, you yeah, did? Yeah. Right. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the Mike <laughs> Evans pick. What makes you so sure? What, what, why, what, what makes you think that? Because bro, he's a he's a big receiver who okay. doesn't ever go under a thousand yards in a season, and he's just so consistent. He gets he's gonna give you a thousand yards and around eight touchdowns every single season. <laughs> Mike is as funny as hell, bro. Uh, uh, funny, bro. He's a big body. Like he stays healthy. I get stays that. Oh yeah, I understand that. I get that, bro. But Jamar Chase. Bro, Jamar Chase has been playing, has been going crazy, bro. I don't know. Man, just, just get to the what you rather, bro. All right. The last um, thing I'm going to say, I'm going to use the bathroom when you do it with, uh, with Mike. But yeah. the last thing I'm going to say about the Mike Evans versus Jamar Chase thing is, if we would have done the same would you rather this far into Odell Beckham's career with the same players, you know what I mean? Like, Odell was the same as Jamar. Like, he's coming on strong, but, like, that doesn't translate. Like, Mike brings a lot of benefit off of how available he is and how consistent he is okay hey yeah i don't hate that i don't hate it yeah i've seen what jamar chase did i've seen what he through two years i've seen what jamar chase is capable of and if he keeps on this trajectory he probably goes there's been, been many great receivers but if jamar chase gets on this trajectory he could go down to the top 20 wide receiver all time yeah if he keeps this up through 10 years ever bro huh Odell could have been the best ever. Injuries. Injuries fucking suck. I know. Yeah, and Jamar, Jamar Chase just coming back from injury last Jamar week. Injury, bro. And that's what I'm saying. Mike Evans is consistent, man. All right. All right. Hey, I don't hate it, nor do I love it. It's yeah. I, 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 we can agree to disagree. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. All right. I can bathroom be back for the pickums. All right. All right. So. All right, Mike. Now I got a would you rather for you. Uh, this is going to be the Jamar Chase edition, and I'm going to name some people. We got Stefan Diggs. Uh, I'm gonna go. Jeez. I'm gonna go to Chase. Devontae Adams. Devontae. Tyreek. Man, Devontae's been going crazy. Devontae's had a quietly crazy year. Okay. Tyreek. Uh, I'm going Tyreek. AJ Brown. I'm gonna go AJ Brown, man. Justin I gotta Jefferson. Respect him. I gotta respect him. Justin Jefferson. I'm gonna go Justin Jefferson. Cooper Cup. I'm going Jamar Chase, yeah. DeAndre Hopkins. Jamar Chase. Mike Evans. Jamar Chase, easy. Jalen Waddle. I'm going to go Jamar Chase on this one, too. Uh, Debo Samuel. Got to finish it off with, oh, no, Jamar Chase. All right, all right, all right. That, that wasn't bad. I... But, but the thing, like, I, I, I'm i having a hard time with the uh, A.J. Brown one. It's only, I, I, I just have to respect like AJ Brown's, uh, I'm not gonna say big playability because Jamar Chase can do to do it just as well. But the type of plays AJ Brown makes the 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 big body strong catches, the going up to get the strong catches. Jamar Chase and T D Lamb are like the same receiver. They're not gonna go up and like make these strong catches. They're gonna catch the ball maybe five seven yards in, make some moves, and get their yards that way. That's But A.J. Brown just, you know, throw a streak route, he's going to – he A.J. Brown is like Dez Bryant. But he's not as good as Dez. But he's he's a, he's he's Dez-like. You know, he'll he'll go up and get those strong catches and win the 50-50 balls. That's what I mean. All right. Hey, so that, that's my only thing. Hey, one of y'all asked me now. All right, I got you. Uh – all right, so Mar, we're gonna do the weekly "Would You Rather," and today it's going to feature Jamar Chase. 
I'm about to ask you some names, and you're going to pick between them and Jamar Chase. The got first it. one being Stephon Diggs. I got Stephon. Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams. Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill. A.J. Brown. Jamar Chase. Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson. Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup. DeAndre Hopkins. Dang, this is a hard one. Um, I'm going to go DeAndre Hopkins. Mike Evans. I got Jamar Chase. Jalen Waddle. Jamar Chase. Debo, and Debo Samuel. Jamar Chase. All right. There you go. Dang, Super Cup. Yeah, yeah, I got I got Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup is just way too smart. He's he's way too smart. He's way too smart. He he he's like equivalent of Tom Brady at wide wide receiver play style wise. I'm not saying dominant. Like Tom Brady just knows everything. You feel me? Cooper Cup no, knows where to be. Never get behind that. Jamar's better than Cooper, bro. I mean, Cooper had one incredible season. He was having but... an incredible season this year too. He just got hurt. Um, that's, 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 that's debatable. All right. Hey. Dang, I feel like I got a lot of names about Jamar. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six. You got him as the seventh best receiver in the league. DeAndre Hopkins, though, you could convince me. That one was hard. I ain't going to lie. DeHop had a season better. DeHop's best season was literally Jamar, was Jamar's rookie season. <laughs> DeAndre, you, you could convince me. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. You could convince me. Yeah, his best season was Jamar's rookie season. So, I mean. Yo, what's up, everybody? You know, it's Mike. Uh, thank you for listening to the Up to Score show. Uh, if you want to keep up with us and keep up with all our posts, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Up the Score show. That's at Up the Score show. And yeah, thank y'all for watching. Let's get back into the episode. And now for our NFL pickups. Our first game is going to be the Raiders versus the Rams. Uh,. Dang, this is a bad game. Oh, my goodness. I got the Raiders coming out with this one. I definitely have the Raiders. They have good momentum. They're going to win, fortunately. Who you got, Mike? Uh, I got the Raiders because I, I predict Jalen Ramsey is going to get toasted by Devontae at least twice. So, even the Raiders. All right. Jalen Ramsey's giving up the most touchdowns this year. You seen, you seen DK win the game on Jalen Ramsey? Yes. Yeah, Jalen Ramsey. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. He's giving up the most touchdowns. Yeah. So, see, hold, I'm sorry, Shock. I know you gotta go, but this is the shit I'm talking about. Trayvon Diggs. Something happens to him one time, once all year. Something happens to him one time all year. Twitter goes crazy. They they're and going crazy, crazy about that. It, huh? They're going crazy about that. I, I didn't. I wasn't. I didn't. Yes. Oh, oh. Within the first thirty minutes, there have already been one thousand four hundred and twenty-eight tweets. I, <laughs> Kid you not, bro. Within the first 30 minutes, it's already been a thousand, fifteen, almost 1,500 tweets. That's what I'm saying. Trayvon Diggs, something happens to him one time, the world goes nuts. Jalen Ramsey gives up the most touchdowns. He's given up seven touchdowns this year, which is the most out of anybody. Nobody says a word. Hey. I just want people to be consistent. Like, if you're going to judge one person, judge the other person the same way. Man, Yeah. All right. that's, 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 that's how I feel about well, Now we got the Lions versus the Vikings. I'm coming out with the Vikings for this one. Um, I got a Lions upset. I got the Vikings. All right. Why Why? The, why are the Lions upsetting? They just dropped 40 uh, last night. Come on. Or yesterday. Who do they play? Jaguars. 40 is 40, bro. 40 is 40. Come on. 40 is 40. Bro, the, the, bro, the Vikings defense... The Vikings defense is not that great. They're mid. The Vikings defense is mid. And, <laughs> and uh, Jamison Williams is finally coming back. The One of the fastest people in this draft. He ran a 4-2-5. He didn't get through the combine. It's a divisional game, bro. Like It is, and that's why anything can happen. That's why I'm picking the Lions in the upset, bro. Now we got the Vikings uh, defense is mid. We got a couple sure. divisional games now with the Ravens versus Steelers. So I want to say to you guys, Lamar's Lamar not playing. It's just ruled out. So I'm still going Ravens. Yeah, me too. Tyler yeah, me too. Tyler, 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 Tyler
Because if you if you remember when Lamar went out last season, the Ravens were eight, last season the Ravens were eight and three. They were the first seed. The Ravens cost him. John Harbaugh cost the Ravens the playoffs because of his unwillingness to go into overtime. They lost every game. I think I think except one. They lost every game down the stretch by like, less than three yeah. points. We beat them with Tyler Huntley. I'm going Steelers. I'm going. I'm going Ravens. This game could go either way, though. Like, it honestly can. not We got another divisional game with the Browns versus the Bengals. Um, I got Ew. the Bengals coming out with this one. Bengals easy. Bengals for sure. And we got another divisional game with the Jets versus the Bills. The hold on before we say the Bills could seriously get upsetted by the Jets. We we like yeah, they, they already did earlier in the season. This game, bro, not this game. Josh is winning. Bills are winning. I don't know. I don't know. I got the Bills, Bills are all, the Bills are having the Bills are owing now they're like one and two in the division. I'm going I'm going to Jets. I think they're not going like that again, bro. They're not they're gonna I think win. it can happen. They're not I'm going, going like Jets. Everything. Jets are losing. Jets. I got I got the Bills. Okay. I'm I'm going with the Bills on this one. Finally we got a normal game with the Texans versus the Cowboys. This, this is Cowboys. Lone Star State, man. Excuse me? That was Lone Star State. Yeah. Fun yeah. fact. Fun fact, when the Texans first became an organization in 2002, the, the very first team they played was the Dallas Cowboys, and I, you'll never guess who won that game. The Texans? The motherfucking Texans. The very first game ever in existence, and they beat America's team. It was 19-10. to 10. Embarrassing. I was not I was barely born yet, wasn't even watching football, but still. How do you lose to a team who's never played a football game a day in their life? We lost to fucking David Carr. <laughs> this is a for sure trap game for you guys. No, no, sir. Ah, no, you sir. tripping? Yeah. If, we don't, yeah. if we don't do what we did to the, if we don't, if we don't do what we did to the Colts, except do that all game against the Texans, we're frauds. That's why I said that last night. I said if the Cowboys don't beat the Texans, I mean if the Cowboys don't beat the uh, Colts by thirty-five, we're fraudulent, and we came out. And we put up 33 in the fourth quarter. If we don't do that to the Texans, we're frauds. You guys are not winning by that much again. You guys are not putting up 50, but I got the Cowboys winning. We've, we've scored 50. We scored 54, 49, 40. Three times we put up more than 30. We put up more than 40 or 40 more or more. Nobody has done that in like the past three. Nobody's done that at all in like the past two years. Huh? In a row? It hasn't been in a row because it was against the Browns. I mean, against the Bears, the Vikings, and the Colts. All right, yeah, I got the Cowboys. Yeah, we're winning. But if we don't put, if we don't put a bit, if we don't score at least forty-five frauds. <laughs> That's crazy expectations, but now, now we got the Jaguars <laughs> versus the Titans. It's, hold on, bro. It's, it's, it's really hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh shit, I did. But to be fair, it's not that crazy because it's the damn Texans against the Cowboys. It's not that. It's not that far fetched, bro. All right, we got the Eagles versus the Giants now. I'm rolling with the G man for this game. Eagles about to receive yes. a second loss. I'm going with the I'm going with the Giants, bro. I think this could be a this is going to be an upset. Is 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 a game in Philly or in New York? I feel like it's in MetLife. I could I could be wrong though. Yeah, I think because the way you got these games set up is that the the home team is the second one. So I'm going with the Giants strictly because this game is in New York. So give me New York. All right, well, I got the Eagles winning. Okay. Sorry, Mar. It's all right. Sorry. It's all right. Got to hey. be impartial with that one. <laughs> we got the Jaguars versus the Titans now. Titans. Oh, yeah, the Titans are winning that one for sure. Because they just got to put 35 on their heads. They're going to be angry. They're going to come out and try to, you know, dominate and try to do what do to the Jaguars what the Eagles did to them. So I'm going, I'm going to Tennessee. This has serious trap potential. Nah, it does. It definitely does. Jaguars. Remember what you were saying when when the Jaguars was playing against the Giants. You said they are one of the best run defenses in the league. They're playing against the Titans. Yeah, Tannehill's playing. They're about to get dotted. <laughs> dotted is crazy, but yeah, I know. <laughs> dotted is insane. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, like I said, it's a divisional game with the other divisional games, but Titans are about to win, bro. Yeah, I got. I, yeah. I got. I got the Jaguars coming out with this one, man. I got the Jaguars. <laughs> I got the Titans. I got the Titans, but I didn't say it would be a blowout. 
It could be like 27-23. I, I yeah. kind of switched that one on the spot, but I'm, I'm going with the Jaguars, man. Now we got the Chiefs versus the, the, the team I don't want to name. I got the Chiefs. Chiefs versus Broncos? Yeah, yeah. You Chiefs. Can't. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, the Chiefs. Chiefs. Win yeah, they don't. The NFL's done. Like, the NFL is super rigged if they don't win this game. So, <laughs> I'm going to Chiefs, bro. Russell Wilson has been a franchise quarterback. That's a trap game. That's like an actual trap game. Holy. Oh, and the Broncos have quietly been one of the best defenses in the league. And they yeah, quietly like, hold the third. Not- and they Yo, quietly hold the third worst record in the league. Worst game, bro. They could win. That's a trap game. I don't know. I'm still going Broncos. Yeah, I'm going to go Chiefs. I don't know. Chiefs. Like, especially since the Chiefs just lost, they're going to win. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going with the Chiefs. Now we got the Panthers versus the Seahawks. Seahawks. Yeah, Seahawks. 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 Yeah, Seahawks. Yeah. Definitely. Geno is about to dot somebody. And these last three games are some of the better games to me. We got the Bucks versus the 49ers. 40, 49ers, they got to figure out. 49ers should win this game, but with them not having a quarterback, yeah. I'm going to Tampa Bay. Dude, Bucks are going to win. Tom Brady needs to win more than that. Yeah, he does. Damn it. I need, oh my God. I need 49ers and Buccaneers to start losing. Did y'all really think the next game is the hard one to, for yeah. me to pick? Hardest one. Yeah. Not for me. But did y'all really think I was going to go with anyone but the 49ers? I got the 49ers coming out with this one. We got the Dolphins versus Chargers now. This is the game I'm excited for, and because it's Sunday night, I'm really excited for this game. This is the this yeah. is to see if Miami made the wrong decision or not. And I'm like, I'm going with the Dolphins. I don't I don't see Justin Herbert beating Tua I, because the, he, I just don't think he has it in him. So I'm going Miami. I'm gonna go with the Dolphins too, bro. It just feels right. Yeah, the Dolphins sweeping. It's not. It's not because I don't think Justin Herbert can't keep it with Tua, but I think it's because J.C. Jackson and the boys can't keep it with Reek. Honestly, or Jalen. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Now we got the last game. Yeah, I, I'm kind of stuck on this one. The Patriots versus the Cardinals. Ew, it's an ugly game. These teams are like could go two different ways, bro. I yeah. Mean, there's the Patriots have like more fundamentally sound. I think the Cardinals are more athletic. I'm going with the Patriots. I'm gonna go with the cards, bro. I'm going Patriots. I gotta go. Play. I'm going Patriots. I, I trust. I trust uh, my uh, not my McCarthy. Bill Belichick. I trust. It's Bill. a good pick, bro. For me, it's a coin flip. Yeah. yeah. No, nah, nah, This is a coin. Flip. Could, it could go either way, but uh, I'm going the way of the Patriots. Well, all right. I'll wrap it up for this week's episode. Thank you for watching, and everyone have a nice day.